wait, 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 wait. We're not doing that. Well, it was the best I could come up with on short notice, okay? It's better than your idea of running through the meadow like, <laughs> the chaos is chaos. That was fucking stupid. Well, I agree with you. We're still not doing it. All right, fuck. It's Chaos Z Review, guys. Granted, my idea was stupid, but running through a meadow, that was even worse. Just worse. But anyway. Agree to disagree, bro. Agree to disagree, bro. I've got a yellow one. I've got a green one. I've got the purple one. <laughs> what up, YouTube? Welcome in between two beards. I'm Justin, aka Dub. I'm Ryan. And today we're doing a full review of the Sigeli Chaos Z. What does it have in common with the Chaos Spectrum? Not a whole lot of anything. Not much of not of not much anything. We're gonna go ahead and dive down, show you one up close, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. Here's gonna be a very quick up close with the Chaos Z by uh, Sigeli. So here's the box. You've got the Z cutout window here, um, and you've got all your specs on the back here and all that stuff. This is kind of a sleeve, so you pull that out there, and that's where you get to your mod. In the box, you, underneath the, the mod, you're gonna have all your paperwork. You got a QC code pass here, warranty information. Uh, these are actually like the service areas for Sigeli and a manual. You're gonna have a micro USB for charging and updating. And then yeah, here's the Chaos Z by Sigeli. Um, it's this uh, this crazy see-through stuff. You've got your board here and your obviously your batteries here. Um, this is a five click on, five click off mod. And yeah, we've got the same chip here as we had in the Sigeli Spectrum and the Fuchai mods and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, around the mod, you've got your 510 up here on top. And it is a nice flush mount 510, but the whole thing sits on this weird platform here. So I've got the Serpent SMM sitting on top of it. Nice threads. And even though there's no actual overhang with a 24 millimeter or, uh, tank, and if you, you could go up to 25 millimeters on here, I believe, if you can see, it sits up raised because they've got this little platform here. So everything has a gap and looks kind of weird. So anyway, I just wanted to point that out. Obviously, you've got your uh, your motherboard there, your whole your whole chip assembly. Um, and then on the bottom, there's nothing. Uh, you've got this nice little nice little notch for your for your battery door to get that off. Now one thing I will tell you, the battery door and the other side, huge fingerprint magnets. And especially the battery door because if you pull it off and you're just like, oh yeah, yeah, that's the back of the battery door. Yeah, I'm gonna put my batteries in and then bam, and then you wipe it off. It's like, oh, now I've got all these fingerprints on the inside. So just, you know, something to keep in mind. Um, got your battery pull ribbon here. And then the, uh, the battery tray is very clearly marked. You got positive up, negative down, and positive down, negative up kind of a thing. This thing is way too long, so I would recommend maybe cutting it off a little bit. Um, but, you know, to each his own. And then one thing I want to show you while we're up close here is the batteries are kind of kind of tough to get in. You've got your spring-loaded terminals here, but the tolerances are in here are so tight, you can't kind of go in at an angle because it just it, uh, it went in, but it, it's tough. You kind of it's it's easier to kind of go in you know kind of straight up and down and try to hook it on the, the terminal and push it up and then yeah there it goes but yeah one cool thing about the clear battery door obviously is you can see if you've got custom wraps um, on your batteries you can see those uh, one big thing that I have with this mod and we'll talk more about it later but the battery door it moves and it moves a lot the magnets I don't know if the magnets just aren't very strong the, my dubs doesn't do it quite as bad. I'll bring his in really quick. Um, it still moves, but nowhere near as bad. But yeah, it's like the battery door on mine just wasn't cut out right or something. I don't know. But anyway, uh, but yeah, here's here's a look at the black one really quick. Obviously, I've got the yellow. They've got the red fire button there. Um, but yeah, so all right, the uh, eagle eye of you probably noticed that I put one of my batteries in wrong, so I had to fix that really quick. Um, so yeah, three clicks get us into the menu system. 
you click on power mode, you've got power mode there, temp stainless steel, NI200, there's your TCR modes, and then there's titanium. Um, I'm not going to go over temp control. We did that in the Skelly Spectrum video, and it's exactly the same. Uh, but if we go back in there, then you go down to color mode, and now here's where you can control your LEDs. So there you've got red, you've got kind of a cyan blue, there's purple. These aren't going to show up very well on the camera, but uh, there's green, there's dark blue, yellow, and then back to red. And now if you hit the fire button again, you can choose um, when using, so just when you're firing the mod and then they will stay on for like a second or two afterwards. Um, always on, so obviously they're always on, or light off uh, is, your, is your last option there. You choose that, then you can choose normal, so it's just on. You've got loop, so it's going to loop through all of the colors. And then you can go to breathing, and then it's kind of going to fade in between all the colors. And uh, then you have your brightness settings, so there's brightness 1 brightness two and again you're not gonna be able to see this with the lights in here but trust me brightness one is pretty bright brightness two is blinding and brightness three is like holy shit it's the sun so yeah these are very very bright um, but yeah that's it uh, obviously on your screen you've got your wattage here the mode that you're in here you've got your resistance your dual battery voltage readout which gives you a live reading of your battery voltage uh, your applied voltage and then your amperage and your battery meter and, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. We're gonna go ahead and jump back out and talk about it for a few minutes. All right, guys, that was the up close of the Segeli Chaos Z. Um, I don't wanna waste any time. Con's time. Guys, we've got this, the, the <laughs> let's, let's just put the groundwork out here, okay? First off, I want to love this mod. Want to so hard. Love this mod. It's kind of like that chick that you were waiting all through high school to ask out, and then she finally gives you a chance, and you realize, wow, she's a total cunt wrinkle. No, it's that super, <laughs> it's that super hot girl that you're so afraid to talk to, and then when you finally walk up to her, she she talks like this, and it's like, <laughs> you know, right. Like, now this isn't a bad mod. It's not. I don't. I want to clear the air right now. It's not a bad mod. However, there are a lot of little things about this mod that we're both kind of like, I can't accept that. Right. That's not acceptable in this day and age of the vape world and how quality all across the board. Right. I mean, if you compare like Smog's first couple of mods to the mods that Smog's putting out right. now. They've made the progression. They've made the progression. This is kind of like. The other way. We had the Sigeli Chaos Spectrum and we've it was so the, nice. We've got the Fuchai's and they're yeah, fantastic. They're so quality. great. And then we yeah. get like, hmm. There you go, assholes. Yeah, uh, first and foremost, major con for me, the battery door, it just, you can hear this, it moves so much, it's unacceptable to me. Now his doesn't move as much. But it does still move. But it does still move. And I think the corp, the culprit of that is the lack of better, thicker uh, magnets? magnets, possibly. I think the door's just not cut quite right. It doesn't, it's not the same shape as like the cutouts here. It, there's like little ridges here I showed up close. It's not the same. I think, it's I mean, not. <laughs> there's not there's not much room in this casing to put four magnets, but there is room to have three magnets. And I think if they were to put stronger three magnets in here, I think it would have helped the problem a lot. They could have done away with part of this little see-through window up here. Like who cares about looking at your 510 connection? Give me a nice strong magnet up there or something. Yeah. I don't know, but yeah, the battery door is a big, huge con for me. Con number two. The plastic used on the battery door. Cheap and as the, shit. The plastic, it's not as bad though as the plastic on the other side with the motherboard. It is the cheapest feeling. Like, if I were to drop this, I have no, I'm confident that the frame would be just fine. But this plastic is going to shatter and go everywhere. Yeah, this this if I'm terrified if, if, to drop. If this, this was the drop from a dis, uh, 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 pocket height, I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, you know. this falls out of your pocket, lands on concrete. This thing's going to shatter worse than the T1000 at the end of Terminator 2. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Right, it's yeah. just it's just going to be Asta La Vista baby all over the floor, and unfortunately, uh, that is not acceptable in my eyes. It's, um, it's just you it, want me to go into some of my more fine tuned ones that I have issues with? I, well. Big con number three for me, just give me a second, is it, it misfires all the time. 
Uh, it, it, my, again, mine seems to be worse than his, but... Like, well, mine still does misfire. Every 10th or 15th no time no I push the to it, it just doesn't fire. And yeah. it's like, I have mods that misfire. I've come to know that mods do that. But this one just does it an excessive uh, an excessive amount. Okay. Um, and that that's that's my main. Uh, You're gonna agree with some of these too. Yeah. But, okay. Some of the ones that I know are some of the more subtle ones. Uh, first off and foremost, the way it fits in your hand. Now, as it is, I've used it. It's grown on me. Yeah. But at the same time, it it, it feels. It doesn't feel bad in the hand. It's, it's not uncomfortable in the hand. It's not comfortable. It's just not. I mean, it's just the fact that it, it's a little oddballish. There's some lines and some shapes yeah. going on here that I'm not exactly sure what the point of that was. So, you know, that's one of my bigger, bigger issues. Just the shape of it all. It's just kind of wonky and it's it's weird the way it, you got to make a yeah. seat in your hand. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, which I think if it were a little bit bigger would actually help a little bit because Probably. some of the divots here, if they were just a little bit longer, your hand would fit in it better. But yeah, it's very, and to me, it's very, very uncomfortable. I agree. Uh, uh, probably, now this is such a small thing, but it has become one of my more exaggerated, just I don't like it, and that is the protruding screws that are on the front plastic piece that show the board. You can just These always feel things them. <laughs> stick up yeah. worse than a 13 year old at his first full girl pool party. <laughs> I'm just saying, like there is a noticeable stub going on I on agree, all four corners. Yeah. And it's funny because you feel it, you can feel it in your hand and it's just, it, it, it's yeah. very, see that's just a bad quality issue for me. These should have been recessed Flush and mount. Flush, flush mount, mount exactly. Yeah. These these things are sticking they up. They serve no purpose. That's the thing. Like I said, like, dude, these things stick up worse than my nipples in the frozen food section. It's <laughs> awful. They're they're so they're so right there. Um, on the same side with the board, uh, another issue I have: if you are going to make a see-through mod, there needs to be an overall just across the board understanding amongst every company that there needs to be some form of rubberized seal, a gasket in An this ring yes something. something that is going to protect juice from getting inside your board okay now having said that i have had some leaky tanks and i've had some i've over dripped on some rdas on this mod it doesn't appear that it's gotten into the uh, battery door to the extent of where it's going to start fucking with the internals quite yet but it's, a it's always in the back of my head. If you, if you were to drop it and it were to crack, then I'm absolutely confident that, yeah, Juice is going to get Exactly. Ready. And I, I saw I saw a review, I won't say who it was, but he mentioned that this is the actual board. I guess some of these see-through mods have like a dummy board. Right. That is just there for looks. This is the actual computer board. Right. So that being the case, if Juice gets in there, it's just going to fry your mod. And yeah, th there right. should be some kind of O-ring or something right. sealing that off. I agree. Uh, another, uh, like I said, some more nitpicky things. Not so much. These are kind of probably be more, you know, suggestive cons or, you know, however you want to word that. Um, the, the, the buttons on the up and down buttons, they're, they're there. They're somewhat easy to find, but they are so almost flush mounted that when you press, I mean, they're clicky. They're definitely clicky, yeah. but I don't know. They almost need to just, just, a, just a pube hair more stick up just a smidge right. more. They're, I mean, I think it's small. great. The screws come up, you know, <laughs> right, right, the right, screws right. are erecting like, you know, <laughs> We won't go there. More erection jokes. Yeah, I'm about to say more erection jokes. But if these can stick up this far. Why can't we get just a little bit more of an easier to find on the up and down? I would be all right if they just made the the, the bottom one the same size as the top one because the top one's okay, but the bottom one's so small that you got. Well, big, there. Well, there you go. You, you can do this. You can do this really, one or two really ways. If you're gonna those. keep this size and this shape, they need to be protruding just a little bit yeah. more for easier to find with your finger. However, if you want to make them bigger, then you could probably get away with how flush right. mounted these are. Um, the fire button is not bad. It's not bad, but it's it comes out to kind of a V, and it's just kind of. I mean, I did they did that to keep it uniform on both sides. I get that. But I think when they designed this, I think they just made it one giant dick joke. Everything, <laughs> is, everything is protruding. Everything comes to a point. Everything is erecting. It's kind of a phallic mod. <laughs> I mean, if you want to go that route. Yeah, it just it's my, just weird. My only other con, I guess, and uh, that's a pretty big list of cons, uh, is I don't like that the top. And I showed it again. I showed it on the up close. The top. You know, I've got the Serpent SMM on here, and it doesn't hang over the sides, but, but it it's got that little—it's got that little raised platform that's only like 
20 millimeters wide or 22 millimeters wide so everything has a gap there and that kind of just bothers me but other than that uh that's a pretty long list of cons i guess i mean now to the good the what pros, do we like um battery life is pretty stellar yep battery life is pretty close to what the spectrum was putting with, out with this tank uh, i i vape it like 45 46 watts and this is the tank i've been primarily using on here they just kind of work well together um uh, I can get like 11 and a half, 12 hours out of this thing. Yeah, you know, like easily. I've been averaging about 11 to 12, yeah, and I've been easy. rocking the Watofo Flow uh, sub ohm tank, and it seems to be. Yeah. And like I said, and that's between a wattage of anywhere between 45 to 52 watts, give or somewhere take something. Somewhere yeah. so For my Watofo. If you stay under that 50 watt range or somewhere around that 50 watt range, then yeah, the battery life is stellar. I will 12 hours, that. not hard to obtain. Yeah. Um, the uh, the board's the same as the Fuchai as or the Fuchai Plus or whatever the, right. the uh, spectrum it's the same chip it's, it's the same chip it's the same board no issues there at all so you know I'm, I'm okay with that like I said the screens evil easily navigated um, like I said the actual screen itself I like yeah. I like how they stuck with that now. that colorful you know changes color on the battery when it gets low and everything I like all that um, but like I said guys overall the biggest issue with me on this mod is just there are some serious quality control issues that I think they need to look at because just some oversights it's yeah like, just some things that it's like okay guys you could have charged you could have easily charged an extra five to ten dollars for this mod and fixed all those little issues right. you know I would and, gladly pay and I would have yeah. gladly I would have jumped on this train willingly I would have jumped on this quicker than Paris Hilton jumps on the random guy she meets at the bar that night you know Paris Hilton again really oh uh, uh, what's her sister <laughs> Anyway, uh, Snooky, there you go. <laughs> I don't think, so. yeah, but yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, I mean, uh, that that's pretty much that's pretty much where the pros end for me. Do we like the mod? Yes, it's all right. It grew the day. Okay, here's here's one other issue I forgot to mention. The, when it comes out of the box, the preheat function is on by default. Yes. So when I got it out of the box, put a tank on it, whatever, hit it the first time, was like, wow, that hits kind of weird. Hit it again, I'm like, wow, this thing is hitting really weird. Like, I hate the way this thing is hitting. Right. It took me about a day to realize that, hey, the preheat function is on. So what it was doing is it was set to 100 watts for a half a second or one second or something. Not even that, it was like 0.2 seconds something. or something. So for the first, you know, whatever, it was hitting 100 watts and then drastically dropping back off to 45 watts. Right. It was just a weird vape. I figured out that, hey, because on the spectrum, the preheat function wasn't turned on out of the box. So I didn't think this would be. Um, I would. like I like that it has that function and it actually seems to work on this mod. Um, but yeah, when the first two or three days I had this and took it to work with me, I hated it. I was like, nope, this thing is just nope, nope, nope. I hadn't gotten mine in the mail yet. I started getting really let down. Right. Like, oh right. man, this is gonna suck balls. It, it's grown on me to an extent. Like the the feel in the hand, that was another instantaneous like, wow, nope, don't like that. That it, it's grown on me. It's not my preferred mod. I won't. I won't pick this up over anything else that I own. Like it's say, it's not the first mod I'm going to grab, but it's not expensive. You can get these online for like 40, 45 bucks. But like you said, it had they charge like 50 or 55 and fix some of the small issues, like just a little bit thicker plastic or make those flush mount screws or, you know, fix the misfiring. Now, of course, this hasn't misfired a single time in this video. Of right. But, uh, that's how it always works. They, yeah, they just fix some of those small issues. It would be a decent mod. Uh, easy answer for me, would I buy this again? And we did buy these. Uh, no, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy um, this again. I probably wouldn't buy this again. No. Am I going to recommend this to somebody? It depends on what you're looking for. I have a hard time recommending um, this. I would have a hard time recommending this. Uh, it's a shame because I like the cool factor. The LEDs are cool. I, 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 I'm starting to get the sense that the LED thing starting to get ran into the ground a little bit, but yeah, I like the LEDs. You either I like them or you don't. I, I've been, mine have been off. I, I, ra I rocked the LEDs on for a couple days, but again, they made that cardinal mistake where if you're right-handed, LEDs are in your palms, so you can't see them right away. Right, right. So now I turn mine off. On that note, I will say this. I've got these turned on the lowest setting. They are bright. And they are fucking they are bright. bright. I mean, yeah. it's like... 
when it comes down to what I recommend this, if you're into uh, the lights and all that stuff, if you want, if a you mod need like a mod this, to match that '90s see-through phone that you got, <laughs> sure, go. For if it. you just want a cool light-up mod that's really nice and functional, go with the T-Priv all day long. I would recommend T-Priv, T-Priv. even the Spectrum. Go with the Spectrum, the original Chaos Spectrum. I would recommend that over this every day of the week. Yeah, I mean, I see where they were going with this, and like I said, there's a few things that we can say here real quick, like the finish. This on the actual nice, metal yeah, fairing, it's holding up is really awesome. Nice it's typical Segeli quality. Yeah. Um, I have no scuffs or chips or anything. Missing no, from I, I mean from I, even the battery door. I like the back feed battery, and that's another cool thing I like about this. If you've got like some cool custom wraps, you, you can, can actually see, see them through here's, there. Here's my problem, and again, I'm sorry, another con, I know, but the batteries are an absolute bitch to get in here. They were at first. They've broken in a Mine little bit. See, all. mine's broken like, in a little it's, bit. It's not hard to get them out, but to get them in there, yeah, that's a tight fit. You got to put them in like dead level or they just you can't like go in at the top yeah it's a tight in. fit it's a tight fit um, so am i going to recommend this mod for people it is probably not going to be in my top five or no, even my top ten of mods i'm recommend to somebody only because i think that there's just too many little i mean it's not that the overall mod is bad i yeah, like where they were heading with the direction of it too many small things add up to one big thing it's and, not good and and if I, you have been interested in this mod you see them teasing and you're like man i kind of want to give that a shot I mean, go for it. Take it's these like things, 40 bucks, you know? Take this and just take everything we've said into consideration. Right. It's like it's just that there's some quality control issues. Now, if they bring out a second edition of this and they fix all those little problems, just fix the small stuff. It'd be awesome. Yeah, I'd absolutely. love it. I'd love it. Absolutely. I think it's a really cool take on a mod. It's something different. Right. Man. Um, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to give this a beard seal nah, of approval. I, I will not I, beard approval. I won't put my my name my stamp of approval on this. Not one, not a beard it's, not a beard approval. It's mod. not. Uh, <laughs> Dare I say it? My, my wife is kind of willing to use anything when I'm done with it, and even she. Oh just, yeah, she married you. <laughs> <laughs> Before we started filming the video, Before you got a beard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was a baby face, but uh, before we started filming the video, she even was like, "I don't like that mod," and it's like that says a lot when my wife says she doesn't like something. Like I said, she guys, loves the unfortunately, mod. they all can't be a winner, but right. that's what we're here for to right. let you guys right, know. Right, 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 right. Um, I'm gonna give it a four out of ten. Yeah. About a four out of ten. I because like I said, if it if a couple of those little things would have been crossed off, it would have nudged that like five to where it would have been like, yeah, buy it. But yeah. it just it's just yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm I sorry. Know. I'm I'm gonna give this. Uh, I mean, it's 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 kind of like if you took away the aesthetics, like the the cool factor of it, I would did be a nah, one. Really, really. Yeah. If you take away the lights and the cool see through factor, and this is not really just that great of a mod. I mean, this is this is kind of like oh, you know. It's just, yeah. yeah. I mean, guys, unfortunately, like, this mod to me just kind of screams like, it's like Taylor Swift, you know? It's like, oh, yeah, it looks appealing, but you realize if you there's, take away the bitchiness and the, no stuck, all, yeah. the stuck upness of it and the, it just the, the other the other not fun cool <laughs> of it, like, I feel like if I were to meet Tay-Tay, like, it would just be, oh, wow, yeah, no, I wouldn't bang you with Ryan's dick, you know? And that's... <laughs> And on that note, we're going to wrap this up. <laughs> we're going to wrap guys. it up. Anyway. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe. We're getting close to that 1,000, and that's been kind of our goal all year. So, Like I said, we're trying to get there before the end of the year, guys. Yeah. Like I said, keep in mind, we are going into almost December at this point, and uh, we've only got about three videos left for reviews. Yeah, and then three or four reviews. I think we're going to be putting up a... There's, um, uh, there's some life things that are happening with me right now, and uh, we are uh, we're going to be taking a break at the beginning of the year, just so you guys have a heads up. I, like I said, guys, basically, there's a couple of things that are going to be happening here. A, we're going to take a little bit of a break at the beginning of the year. Yeah. Pumping these videos out every week as much as we love to do it. It's a lot uh, of work. It's a lot of work, and we're constantly trying to bring you guys just quality videos right, right. and everything. It's so a lot of work when you live, you live an hour away from right, each other. Right, but the good news is <laughs> with these life changes that he's talking about, it's actually going to probably make the broad spectrum of this whole thing a little bit easier. Right. We're actually going to have a room probably dedicated to filming, right. so we we right. won't have a lot of issues. We can play with some more things. And so, yeah, the studio is probably going to be moving here by the end of the year at some point. So, if there's a couple of videos that get lost in the mix along the way, sorry. We're sorry, yeah. but we'll be getting, we'll pump them out as quick as we can. Uh, but yeah, like I said, guys, that's pretty much what's going on. But like I said, we're not quitting. No, we're continuing no, no, no. on. We're, we love doing this. We want to keep on bringing you guys awesome quality videos. <laughs> 
If you guys like it, hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe again. I know I already said that. Hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all at In Between Two Beards. If you guys want to drop us a line, hit us up on our email. It's in between two beards at gmail.com or leave a comment in the video, whatever you want to do. Yeah. We receive hate mail from all walks of life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and we also received quite a bit of support. Yeah. So, so thank you for that. Thank uh, you. But yeah, yeah, guys. Until next time, babe. Babe.